In Rust, we can assign function pointers to variables, and we can also pass it into other functions. Let's look at some examples. Let's say that we have a function called add takes in two u32, add these two values together, and then return another u32. How do we assign this in a variable? So let's say that f. To declare that this variable will be a function pointer, where it takes in two u32 and then returns another u32, we will say fn, and then inside the parentheses, we will put in u32, comma, u32. The return type is another u32. This is the type of the function that we're assigning to the variable f. And then we say add. Let's try calling this function f. We'll print the result of passing 1 and 2 to the function f. Since we're adding 1 and 2, it's going to return 3. Execute the code and we get f of 1 and 2 is equal to 3. So this is an example of assigning a function pointer to a variable. We can also pass function pointers into other functions. For example, let's create a function. Let's call this do twice. We're going to call function twice. Inside here, the first input will be a function pointer. Let's say fn of u32, u32, and then it will output a u32. Next, we'll pass in the inputs. Let's say x, u32, and y, u32. The result will return a u32 as well. And then inside here, you'll say f of x, y, plus f of x, y. Call the function f twice. So we'll call this function inside the main function by saying do twice. Call the function add twice. For the inputs, let's pass in 1 and 2 again. Let's assign the result to a variable. Let's say that s equals do twice. Call the function add twice. And for each time, use the inputs 1 and 2. Let's print the result out. Execute the code, and we get do twice is equal to 6. When we call the function add with 1 and 2, we get 3 back. Call it twice, and we get 6 back. Up until now, we looked at a simple example of passing u32s. But we can also pass in a mutable reference. So let's say that we have a function called push. It will take in a mutable reference to a vector of u32, and then another input of u32. Inside this function, to the vector b, we'll push this value x. Now let's do something similar to the function do twice. We want to pass this function as input to another function, and then inside it, execute the function push twice. I'll call this function fn f mute twice. Let's start out by using this example actually. And then I'll name this to f mute twice. So how do we modify this function so that it will take in a mutable reference? For the function f, let's first match the function signature of this function push. So the first input will be a reference, a mutable reference to a vector of u32. And then the next input will be the u32 that we're going to be appending. The function push doesn't return anything, so here we omit the return type. And then we need to pass in an input. Let's pass in x of type u32. This will be the element that we're going to be pushing to the vector. The output will be empty. For the input, we also need to pass in a mutable reference to the vector that we're pushing the value to. Let's call this b, a mutable reference to a vector of u32. And inside this function, we'll do something similar to the function do twice. Simply call the function f with the inputs twice. The first input will be a mutable reference to a vector. This is given by b. The next input will be a u32. This is given by x. And then we'll call this twice. Now let's see this example inside the main function. Let's create a mutable vector. Let's say that mute b is equal to vec of 1, 2, and 3. And then we'll call the function f mute twice. The first input will be a function, where for the input it's going to take an immutable reference to a vector of u32 and a u32, which matches the function signature of the function push. So we pass in push, push to the vector, and then follow by the vector to push. Here we're going to pass in a mutable reference to the vector, mute b. And for the value, let's pass in 4. So this is how we're going to call the function push twice on our mutable vector v. Let's print the result after calling this function. And then execute the code. And we get the vector v is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, and 4. Inside the function f mute twice, we call the function push twice on the vector v, pushing the values 4 twice. So these are some examples of working with function pointers in Rust. You can assign it to a variable, and you can also pass it to functions.